so David, David becomes king. Saul dies. Jonathan tragically dies, but he made a covenant. He made a covenant, a blood covenant with David. And now David is sitting on the throne. And as David is sitting on the throne, he asks a question. I don't know what made him think about it, but he was just sitting there probably in the palace thinking of the faithfulness and goodness of God. And one day he reaches to grab his cup and when he does, he sees that scar. He remembers that he made a blood covenant with the king's son. And he asked a powerful, powerful question. Second Samuel 9. Is there anyone in the house of Saul that I might show kindness to him? Listen to these words. For Jonathan's sake. He said, is there any family left of King Saul that I can show kindness? Listen to that. That's a covenant word. Show kindness to For Jonathan's sake, who is Jonathan? The one he made a blood covenant with. (laughs) Really, what all the people in the palace thought is this is revenge time. Because in Bible days, the first thing a king would do if he had an overthrow and, and took over a kingdom is he would hunt out anyone who would be the rightful heir and he would kill all the seed royal. He would kill all the children. He would kill all the sons who could potentially down the road cause him a problem. He'd just go kill them all. And so when, when he may ask this question, is there anyone of the house of Saul uh, that I might show kindness to for Jonathan's sake? They're all like, yeah, r- right. Here comes the purge. Here comes, this, this is going to be like those shows on, on National Geographic when the lion, the new lion comes in and kills the old lion. Y'all know what I'm talking about? And y'all know what he does? He then goes and kills all the little cubs because he didn't want any problems with it. That's what they think is about to happen. Listen now. And somebody spoke up and said, there's only one left of Jonathan's house. And his name is Mephibosheth. It's a tragic story. When Saul was killed and you were crowned and the people were bringing you back to the throne, the nurse picked Mephibosheth, the baby, up and was running out of the nursery for her life knowing the child was in danger. And she tripped and fell on the baby and crushed it and the child is crippled. And now... He lives in a place called Lodibar, which means barren, dry pastures. He's out in the middle of the nowhere, and it's fruitless. It's a, it's a barren place. It's dark and gray, and he lives in a shack, and he eats out of a tin can, and it's pitiful. He crawls around all day in the dirt hut that he lives in. And David says to his mighty men, Take chariots and horses and go and fetch him out. I like that word, fetch him out. And here comes, here comes the mighty men rolling up in chariots and horses and power and strength. And I could see, I could see Mephibosheth, poor thing, crawling on that dirt floor of that old hut and pulls himself up to the window pane and looks out and he sees this, these mighty soldiers and he thinks to himself because all he had ever been told was be afraid of David. Hate David. He's your enemy. He's going to hurt you. He's going to get you. One of these days, he's going to try to wipe you out and give you what you deserve. So he was trembling and he thought, this is it. They take him and put him in the chariot and bring him back. But when he gets there, they don't take him to a prison. They take him to a palace. He walks in and they say, His Highness, um, would you like your bath hot or lukewarm? We have all of your new clothes laid out, Versace, Gucci, whatever you want. We have it all here. And by the way, dinner will be served in the main dining room of the presidential palace. And you are the honored guest at the king's table. 
and they bathe him and they clothe him and they help him and carry him down and they sit him at the table right beside the king. And he's sitting there wondering why. Why am I here? Look at this food. I've never seen such food. Oh my God, look at this place. And, 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 and the king says, do you like your new home, son? I love it. I love it. He says, you know, you're never going to leave here. You'll eat here continually at my table. You know, you belong here. You know, I, I, I made a, and, and, and he's thinking, why, 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 why? And all of a sudden, Mephibosheth sees it. He sees the scar. And he realized it's the only reason I'm here. It's because dad, my father, Jonathan, made a blood covenant. And that's why I'm here. And Jesus says to every person here, I know you, I know your name, and I give you a new position. I give you the possessions you need. I give you the power and the weapons that you need. And I give you my personhood through the power of the Holy Spirit. And I make a covenant with you, the blood covenant. And the secret of the Lord is with them that fear the Lord. <laughs> and he will show them his covenant. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel so that you can get... on new posts and live streams. Be sure to share this video with a friend. You never know how you can send the Word of God right when somebody needs to hear it. And you can use your social... Share it with a friend, and I really appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time.